Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about common cerebral hemisphere mass imaging. Key difference analysis issue, children versus adult. Challenge, neoplas predominant infection, Demyelinating disease in adult, ischemia, hypertensive hemorrhage, predominant neoplasm. First difference on the systems, cerebral ischemia infection. Supposedly inferior cerebral artery distribution, most common. So in the DWI restriction with correlating ADC minor, early cortical swelling, hemorrhagic transformation in 15 to 45 percent. So let's see the example. Axial tissue amoy demonstrates the type because case of posterior inferior cerebral artery actual infarction as hyper intense associated with swelling in the right hemisphere by open or located and latra medulla sign solid error in the game. Second case of the example, the axial DWI, so decreased diffuse of the inferior right cerebral hemisphere, sign solid error indicated with fan Involvement of the epsilatra right medulla, cyan open arrow indicated. This is consistent with acute right vertebral artery and posterior inferior cerebral distribution in part. Second, different analysis cerebral image. Usually around a big elliptical high density mass level or normal due to age of blood. Hypertensive hemorrhage most common, 10% of hypertensive hemorrhage in posterior fossa. Other etiology could be trauma, coagulation therapy, stroke, vascular malformation, and neoplasm. Let's see the example. So this is axial lung intensity, so a large, high density mass in the left cerebral, cerebral hemisphere, science with arrow in the head, with some adjacent area of slightly less increased tension. Cyan curve arrow indicate, indicating active image. And, and another difference on this is this middle blastoma as it is activated. As it is middle blastoma, more likely to involve cerebral hemisphere. Medulloblastoma with extensive neurology crepe like nodule in varying cerebral hemisphere in child less than three years of age. Plus GP53 mutation is poor prognosis. Nodular enhancing mass with decreased diffusion. 
So this is uh, the example where we can find the axial T2C plus mod. So an enhancing cerebral mass science solid arrow located in a young child. As ADH activated medulloblastomas, commonly originate from the cerebral hemisphere rather than in the classic or ventricular location. The axial DWI or more of the right cerebral mass sensorid arrow indicates so decreased diffusion confirmed on ADC. It's not so in this which is compatible with the high grade medulloblastoma infiltrating the cerebellum. Below cytic astrocytoma, vascular cystic mass plus enhancing mural nodule, childhood tumor, G2 hyperintense solid and component increased diffusion. And this is an example. The axial T1C plus or more, so a classic cystic cerebral pilocytic astrocytoma with a non enhancing ring, science solid arrow indicate, and robustly enhancing moral nodule, wide open arrow indicate. And this is axial contrast intensity demonstrate a classic cerebral pilocytic astrocytoma with macrosis cyan solid arrow indicate. And enhancing moral nodule now soon in this image. The fleet between the tumors is slightly more dense than the cord when the consists of cyan curve aerobinicate. Note the temporal cord enhancement enlargement from the associative nitro surplus science open aerobinicate. Hemangioblastoma, a dial with intraaxial posterior fossa mass with cis enhancing moral nodule of during PM may be associated with men one hyperlindal syndrome with seen post contrast imaging can see feeding pier vessel to node. This is the axial T1 C plus as Omaha demonstrate a type of common pattern of cerebral hemangioblastoma with both uh, a vividly enhancing solid nodule, cyan solid aerodynamic and cystic component, cyan or pan aerodynamic. And this is axial G1 C plus or more, so an enhancing light hemisphere mass, sensory arrow indicated with a C sense of an arrow indicate in a young adult with one hyperlindal syndrome. Hemangioblastoma is the most common diagnosis in adult presenting with a C and moral neutral cerebral mass. Note the prominent associated enhancing vascular structure, cyan curve arrow indicated. Metastasis parenchyma. If intraaxial posterior portion mass is middle age, older adults think the metastasis can be solitary, but look for 
Ahora el ISO. Axial T1, C plus or more, even sweat, left cerebral, and temporal chip intensity enhancing mass visual arrow again. T2, T1 and T2 shorting not so, demonstrate hemorrhage. Pathology confirmed metastat from renal cell carcinoma. Axial flare-up also, or right cerebral mass, sciencoli, arrow with surrounding edema in a patient with no breast. Cancer. This assessment of four ventricle cyan O can help indicate with the risk of obstructive hydrocephalus. Axial T1 C plus so solitary metastones with seen rim enhancement and no edema. Numbers so. But supratentorial lesion we were also found not so in this niche. Uh, resection reveal adenocarcinomas metastasis of no region. Thank you.